Hey guys, it's Survival Guy from thecleversurvivalist.com. Uh, I just wanted to show you a quick video. Um, I know I did a post of this uh, storm shelter and uh, told you guys I was going to have some stuff going on. And I just wanted to show you what I had. Alright, bring it over here. I got some solar panels. Instead of wiring up my, uh, my storm shelter to the house, I decided that I was going to wire it up to solar power. It's about the same price uh, as uh, all the permanent embedded wiring and stuff like that. So if you look over here, uh, I basically run the wire around into this bucket here. Okay, if you get close, you can see I have the cable going into this bucket with uh, what's called a CGB. And if I lift that bucket, that is just to keep the rain out but that also is a CGB, and um, that's a watertight fitting. So um, that's just to make sure that I keep all of the uh, all of the rain exposure that I'm that I could possibly get out of it, and so that people won't uh, miss it and trip over it and break it. All right, so now I'm going to take you down into the storm shelter and kind of show you some of the stuff I got going on. All right. I gotta be careful going down these steps with this video. Alright, so now I am gonna show you where I brought everything in. Alright, you can see here where I brought everything in into the storm shelter. And this is all 12 volt wire going, uh, not, not the, uh, lights it's kind of cool um with this uh video i'm looking at the video and uh, these lights i cannot see them twinkling so just because it shows that in the video uh don't believe that <laughs> they're sitting here twinkling on me i actually have good light so um, right here i have uh, a little tabletop that i built inside this this has two of those batteries that I've been telling you guys about uh, whenever I did that post about inverters and stuff like that. I got some batter some batteries down in there. Alright. We're not gonna hash all that out again. But I've got 200 watt inverter. I've got two 80 watt inverters. That right there is a little power strip that can be extended to however many you want. I've got a good uh, 400 watt power inverter here that I'm going to be attaching to it all. And I've got it going to all of these lights all around the storm shelter. Alright, so you can see that it's lit up real well. I'm sorry about that guys, um, my daughter wanted to tell me something so I had to stop the video for a minute, but I, I kind of wanted to shut the door on us so you guys could kind of see how the lighting is in here. There we go. So you can see the lighting in here. Alright, you got Christmas lights, I love the LED Christmas lights, the warm lights because they do a good job at lighting the whole room up. Alright, now this place, I have carpet for it. I just don't have the carpet down because um, I took it out and cleaned everything up. I've got uh, a bunch of tools and stuff down here and I plan on doing some more expanding so that we can use maybe against this wall right here see if I can get far enough back for you guys to see it better all right well that wall over there maybe putting a little putting a little uh, LCD display up in here or right down here uh, with an antenna going out either there or back over here where the the inverter power is coming in I just wanted to 
let you guys see what I was doing. Um, it's really nice temperature down here because obviously it's buried and um, uh, I'm probably going to be uh, moving shelves down here so that I can turn this not only as a storm shelter but so that I can use it as a, um, a root cellar. <laughs>